Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Look MRI, and this is a 16-year-old male with complaints of right knee pain for a few months. He plays football, and the uh, doctor ordered an MRI um, following arthrogram to look at the labrum. He thought he may have a labral tear clinically, and his pain was in the hip, but also went into the groin when I spoke with him. And here we have the arthrogram. This is the femoral head, the neck, here's the greater trochanter, lesser trochanter, and this is the needle directed towards the femoral head neck junction and then this is after the contrast has been injected this tube has contrast in it that's bright we see this band of brightness this is the contrast that's been injected into the joint it goes all around but it just collects along this area and so this is the joint filled and now we have some arthrogram images here are some images of the MRI with the joint filled with contrast we see the white contrast in the joint here it outlines this little thing right here, that little triangle, is the labrum. And the patient has um, no obvious labral tear, and uh, the femoral head looks normal. He didn't have any marrow edema in the femoral head. And one other thing he did have was down here. This is the pubic bone on the right, pubic bone, pubic bone on the left. And we note here they're a little bit darker than they should be. On this view, this is a T1-weighted image. And on the T1-weighted image, we see marrow is really bright. Marrow is fairly bright. And here, the marrow is dark. So it uh, makes us think that something may be wrong down here. So we did a stir sequence, which is really sensitive to marrow. And we can see a little bit better what's going on. So on this axial stir sequence, we see the left hip, right hip. Here's the fluid in the right hip. This is the buttock region in the back, gluteus maximus, left gluteus maximus. And we see right here the pubic bones where they come together are together are very bright. So lots of marrow edema in the two pubic bones. This is the symphysis pubis. This is a coronal view looking straight at the patient. Here's the left hip, right hip. And this thing that's white is the urinary bladder filled with fluid. And we're going to try to find those pubic bones in symphysis. So here we go. This is the left pubic bone is too bright. And the right pubic bone is too bright. If we zoom up on this, we'll be able to see a little bit of detail right here. So the articular surface, instead of being sharply defined, is irregular, looks kind of scalloped. And the left side looks almost normal, but the right side is definitely abnormal. So he has marrow edema of the uh, pubic bone, suggesting to the symphysis pubis. And this is what we would call athletic pubalgia, or basically pain in the pubic region related to um, shearing forces where the symphysis pubis is with uh, patients who play soccer or in this uh, case football they can have shearing forces as they twist and they'll get reactive marrow edema and irregularity of the bone oftentimes they'll peel off ligaments that attach down here ligaments and tendons and uh, in this patient the ligaments and tendons look normal but there was marrow edema so we would call this a sports hernia or athletic pubalgia and again, the patient did not seem to have a label tear like the orthopedic surgeon was worried about. And he had a couple other minimal findings, but this is uh, what we think is the cause of his uh, pain in the right hip and right groin.